Folks, it is a momentous day here at Renix P Sale because Spanky has brought a piece of his childhood game collection. You want to let me know what you have here to sell your soul to? Yeah, so this is my massive childhood video game collection. This is my favorite game, SSX Tricky, and I don't know if this one's actually on the market. You have talked about that game multiple times as you find it in video game stores and stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to set so that, that one right there. Could be a heartbreaker. Yeah. And I'm looking for upwards of about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars for all of this. <laughs> um, so we'll see if Caleb is a good buyer. NBA Street, which is a classic, and you'll notice everything is in really great condition. It actually is. Um, I was kind of shocked by that. Uh, NCA March Madness 2004. You can see that's a that's a baby Carmelo Anthony. Uh, Tiger Woods. This is actually the only one that doesn't even that, that has a, a sticker on there. Some residue. Tiger Woods 07, not really a memorable Tiger Woods year. Uh, <laughs> this is my number one all-time most played video game, Madden 08. Wow, Come what a legend. Me. Who knows? Millions of hours on that game. Street Volume 2, a phenomenal game. And Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Um, we sold my N64 as a child... And all the great games for NBA Live 03 and maybe Madden 03, which were, you know, both trashed shortly after that. So Yikes. otherwise I would have a larger video game collection. And to top uh -oh, it off, the pocket. here is my beautiful grape Game Boy Color. Tested and working. With Hold on. Is the save file still on there? Yes. It is? Like yes. the battery's still good? Yes. Okay, well, you need to check out your, your Pokemon team and roast this is, little stuff. I restarted. Like, this is not my original game. Okay, he's backpedaling. No. Are you ashamed of what's on here? Pokemon Blue version. No, I've just, I got way farther and then I restarted because I wanted okay, to. Okay, well, let's again. see. Let's see what, what yeah, progress I, you made. I turned this on last night and I was like, I have to turn this off because it's making me reconsider my decision to sell this. Well, hey, no one's twisting your arm except, uh, you know, what I'm doing off camera, forcing you. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at that little baby boy squirtle. Wow, the memories are coming back, folks. Look at that. Continue. You Battery's see that continue still on good. there. Uh, this one only has five hours and 45 minutes on it. So Oof. Okay, well, we can at least see what starter you picked, hopefully. Maybe you didn't even get there with the five hours. I'm in Cerulean <laughs> City right now. I don't know if I made my way back there, you know, 15 years ago is or that, what. Is that Cerulean? I think so. Did it say that? No. I think that's, uh, no, I think that's... Shoot. What's the town called? Lieutenant Surge's town? I don't know. Okay, Vermilion City Vermilion. Pokemon Gym. Okay, Vermilion. So, oh, is that earlier? Team. We got to see the team. Is that earlier on? No, it's later. Oh, look at me. Uh, it's like you've already vanquished Misty. There you go. Look at that. All right, roast Rebel. him, folks. Roast. Him. <laughs> you got a Paris? No, no, no. This is this One cannot be my first game because I had a Blastoise. I don't know. He got to like level eighty-one or something. All right, All folks. Let the like, record show he is a full-fledged Blastoise trainer. A, tr a true gamer. All Level right. Well, War Turtle. Let's see. I'm curious if these, um, if these bad boys, do we have many of these on the buy list? I don't think we have the, the uh, standard sports games here. I'll pass these, this off to you. We can just let the Pokemon play in the background. I think these are the only, uh, the only two buy list games right here: Quidditch and Street Volume Two. Street Volume Two is pretty good. Hit up that buy list, Very... boys and girls. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Quidditch. Okay, so you're getting eight bucks for that. Heck yeah. You know what? For the Phoenix resale employee, we'll give you an extra, what do you think? Two bucks. Two percent, I was thinking. Oh, sure. <laughs> I don't know, 20 percent or something. Uh, don't need to don't need to squeeze you that hard. So we'll do like 10 bucks for uh, Quidditch. We'll do Street Volume 2. Is that just, is it NBA? I'm trying to figure out alphabetical. I think it, it just says is. Street Here on there. Uh, NBA Street, yeah. 25 bucks. Dang, yeah. solid little valuable title there. I don't think, I don't know. Actually, this one I'm pretty sure we can buy, right? Okay, we don't have it on here, but you know what? We'll say 10 bucks for Spanky. And then <laughs> these ones. Let me keep that one. You want to keep it? <laughs> I think you should. Yeah. And I'll let you keep Tricky too. What do you think? Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, and then I would say these ones, those are the ones that kind of put it over the top. Maybe 500 or 600 a piece. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay. We'll go ahead and write that down. Uh, this... 
Okay, I have to say, for a childhood Game Boy, this thing is in nice shape. Very good shape. I was I was surprised by my past good self. For, yeah, good for young Spencer. And the game, too. Look at that label. He, ta he takes care of his electronics. Yeah, I was so a good So this, boy. I think we're paying, what, like 50 bucks a piece for or 45 something like 50, that. Yeah. These, I think we're paying 60 or so. Um, this is actually an old version of the buy list, so some of these might have changed. We've been updating it every month. If you want access to it, uh, our email for it will be in the description. Just shoot us, like, you know, a, a screenshot of your sales or something like that so we know you're serious. We had, I'll, I'll tell you guys, we had a bit of a strange situation today <laughs> that we haven't run into yet. We had someone send us, like, almost everyone that sends us inventory through the buy list, they're really good about betting for condition. This particular order, I think I did a bad job because the person asked, hey, what do you do for like questionable condition items? And I didn't explicitly respond to that part of the email because he asked like a few different things. And I should have because he ended up sending the questionable condition stuff. For example, like this, basically four parts, original Game Boy. We had this uh, Game Boy Color, which not only is missing the sticker, but it looks like it's like been sanded all around and has like a bunch of marker or some, some uh, one of your childhood friends, Spanky, was probably trying to customize this with a <laughs> Sharpie. Um, so anyway, we had to, it was just kind of an awkward position of like, how do you simultaneously say, thank you so much for sending us your business. We really appreciate it, but please don't do this again. <laughs> Um, so anyways, I thought that we would also, in addition to appraising Spanky's collection, open up... Did we end up at 1500 by the way, for that? Yes, yeah, so we're in that neighborhood. Okay. You know, we'll work out the details later. The check's in the mail. Uh, this was the single largest buy list package that we got today. There were probably, like, I don't know, six of them. At some point, we might have to, we might have to shut off the fire hose. Okay, hold on. I need to make sure that we don't expose any information here. Avert your eyes, young ones. No, nope, hold on. There's a, an additional Let's shipping Let's go back label. to this Quidditch World Cup. Look at the intensity on Draco's face. I mean, that's really astounding. Love that color commentary. Okay, we're good. Some nice uh, box resizing going on here. I'm just going to plop this on the floor. Well done. I forgot the... Uh, Okay, seller's name on this. We might see it on the invoice. Here we go. Oh, is it multiple boxes within a box? This is premium. This person, I bet we're not gonna have very many deductions at all on this. That, oh, look at this. What is that? They poly bagged the invoice. Wow, that's the next level. That's never been Joshua, done before. gotta say, I'm not gonna, not gonna put your uh, payment info on screen here, but Joshua but I am. is an MVP. Let's see here. Wow, this is a $2,200 invoice. So we'll see what kind of goodies we have in store here. Um, I'm glad that like people have been really like using and enjoying the buy list a lot because at the time of filming this, it's uh, mid-September. And after November, we go into drought season for uh video game conventions so there's like december january february i'm pretty sure no conventions that i go to um december mostly because of travel reasons and i just don't know of any if you guys know of conventions that happen in january or february then let me know and maybe i'll make the rounds because usually it's pretty hard to source then um so i'm glad that we have a decent number of people now that are using the buy list. We've got a whole bunch of really nice, clean DS games here. Mario titles, fast sellers, complete in box. We love to see it. Um, and this is a couple layers deep here. Looks like they did send us a, a DSi that has the original box. We, the boxes don't add a ton of value on these. They're like DSIs especially are not super collectible. Spanky just, you guys should have seen that. Real time, he just held in a sneeze <laughs> so that the camera wouldn't shake. Wow, that's... Okay, actually, I take it back. Where is the DSi? <laughs> is this just the uh, booklet here? What's what's happening? Did he use this as packing material? Joshua, I'm confuddled. Uh, maybe we will it find it. It doesn't take much, Joshua. We may, That's true. We may find it later on in this package. We'll see. Um, oftentimes, what we do when we get those, because they don't add any value on Amazon, is... 
we'll just set them aside and sell them like Fox only on uh, whatnot or something like that. Uh, just because we don't we don't like to we like to to be able to rehome everything that we possibly can. A um, few copies of Super Mario Bros. We get a ton of those in. We get a ton of Wii Sports. We pay really well for Wii stuff, especially Galaxy. We got a couple clean copies. Let's go ahead. The other part of the process that we usually do, and this is this is an example of what I would say, as long as this game is tested, this is acceptable level of scratching. I would call this light scratches. Um, you can see them when the light hits them right, but it's nothing super deep. Uh, there's some, there's a little bit right there that might might put this in the resurface pile. Um, but our general policy is like, if something is tested and working and we don't have to resurface it, um, as long as it looks okay with only light scratches, that's fine. Uh, everything doesn't have to be like buffed before you send it to us. But if it is something that the scratches are deep enough that we have to resurface it, uh, that's where I think we just do like a flat like five dollar deduction or something like that. Not because it costs that much in terms of materials, but in terms of time, it just it's kind of an extra step that we have to do. Guitar Hero looks great. Minecraft looks great. We've got check this out. How many copies? This might be our single most. Do you think this is the game we buy the most of? Because mm -hmm. we're paying like, I don't know, 16 or something for this. And even with the sleeve, you'll get maybe 18 on eBay. Probably it's possible less. Is this sleeve only? No, nope, the disc is in there. We'll check this condition. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of these. Super Mario Bros. Absolute classics. Game Party 3. On um, an order this size, like if you're sending us a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff and maybe like five games or less need to be resurfaced, we probably honestly won't even bother with that kind of a deduction because we don't we don't like making deductions. It's not something that we do just to try to squeeze more and more profit. I think that's probably something you guys understand at this point. I'm much bigger on forming good long-term relationships and making people love to sell to us rather than squeezing every dollar we can. So on an order of this size, if we don't have to, if there's no glaring issues or like things that don't work or like dry battery Pokemon games or stuff like that, uh, I, I'm much happier just like paying full price and uh, saying, thanks, appreciate it. Got some Just Dance stuff here, 2014, Just Dance 4. I think we have almost every Just Dance game on the list, even though some of them are only really worth a few bucks. So we might have it on there for like three. Um, Nice little stack of Mario Kart as well as, what else do we have in here? We'll just take a quick peek. Michael Jackson, we've got Smash Bros. Brawl, Galaxy, uh, Mario Sluggers, Fortune Street's kind of a cool one. And just, uh, just a, an all-around good time. I would guess that Joshua has at least been doing this for a while. If not, maybe he has like a game store or something like that. Because this is a lot of... This is a lot of a lot of multi-titles, which we love getting because that's a single listing that we have to do rather than like a ton of individual games. It's just, it's a little bit more convenient. It's a bit of a time save. And then oh, let's get, dig into this big box here. What do you think we're going to find in this, Spanky? I would say that's all 3DS XLs. Ooh, that would make my day. I wouldn't be surprised. It's pretty heavy. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are a decent number of handhelds in here. Yesterday, I was just at Game Exchange and found a new 3DS XL Gray for 160 bucks. And I think on the buy list, we pay like one, like 210 because we get like 250 ish after fees. So uh, that was pretty exciting. Whoa, this that was is wrong. something I don't see. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of uh, PS3 Move controllers. Have you, have you been checking when we get these in to see if they're PS3 at all? From the port down here there also is something different about the front of it i know hmm. <laughs> sounds like not that's a no <laughs> so yeah that's something that we'll definitely want to check for because um if the other the person on who's sending it to us doesn't understand the difference and we send these off as ps3 it's likely that it's almost certain we'll get a return if we if they actually are the ps4 version because it takes a different charger so this is like the same charger as a ps3 controller um and the PS4 ones are uh, not USB-C, but uh, micro USB. Got a navigation controller here. Oh, even a uh, little poly bagged 
Uh, NES Classic. I am going to have, I realized recently that these are very commonly faked. Uh, there's a pretty substantial uh, reproduction market for these, so we may have to take those off the buy list. I'm not sure, because um, they're apparently, they're very good fakes. The kind of thing that you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell unless you, like, are paying close attention to the details of how games play and they save and things like that. Um, but also a ton of, like, PlayStation and 360 games, and most significantly... A whole bunch of cartridge stuff. We've got Tech Mobile, Tecmo Super Bowl, which uh, is, I believe, worth more. Yoshi, mostly lower dollar stuff. Mike Tyson's Punch Out, that's a great one. Um, Zelda, we pay really well for, I know. I think we're at like 30 or maybe 32 on that. 20 um, ish range, maybe 18 on Mario Bros. 3. This label, a little bit suspect there. We've got some peeling on the top, you can see, but the rest of it looks fine. That's just the kind of thing that we try to pay attention to. We do buy these uh, little microphones. We have a lot of accessories. Oh, accessories on the list. And it's just been really fun getting to, like, buy and sell with you guys more. We've pretty much always sold mostly through whatnot to viewers, but getting to buy from you guys more has uh, been a lot of fun. So that's pretty much the update on the business side. I might do, I'm thinking about doing a game room tour. Uh, like a sort of unofficial video on Remix P sale, then maybe a more extensive one once everything's kind of more set up on Phoenix Resale. Um, but appreciate you guys for tuning in, and uh, let me know what I should pay for Spanky's collection, how bad I should lowball him in the comments.